Next uh, is chapter 40. So in chapter 40 it is said that he was in the prison. Okay. Two other people came and joined him. The pharaohs, a royal cup bearer and the chief baker. The pharaohs, uh, I mean, I think uh, they did some, it is given that they did some mistake. They did some offense against the pharaoh and pharaoh was, uh, pharaoh gave them the punishment that they both of them were put in the prison. So they were put in the prison, in the same prison where Joseph was there. Again, this was the plan of God. Okay. And uh, so, I mean, along with Joseph. So, I mean, they were all there. Uh, as usual, we know that Joseph uh, sees uh, dreams. So, um, um, so, Joseph sees dreams and he also had the uh, gift of interpreting the dreams. So, one day it so happened that the chief baker and the royal cupbearer, they, when they were sleeping, they saw a dream on the same day and both of them were a little disturbed, not knowing what the dreams mean. And they were sitting uh, next day. So Joseph asked them, what happened to you all? And both of them, they said that we just saw some dream and uh, we, were, we are confused. We do not know what it means and we do not know who will interpret it for us. And Joseph said that uh, the interpretations come from the Lord. See the quality of Joseph. Joseph did not say, tell me, tell me, I have the gift of interpretation. I will tell you. So he did not use that word I itself. He said that, interpretations come from the Lord. Now you please tell me, let me see if I can interpret it. So the first credit and um, goes to the Lord because all the things that we are doing is because of the, 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 the favor and the mercy that is shown to us by God. After that only we are able to do that. So Joseph was able to, he was fully um, in God. So he was able to tell that. He said that interpretation, interpretation comes from the Lord. So the cupbearer first he said, he said that uh, there were three branches of wine. He is the cup bearer. No? Cup bearer means the one who pours wine, who crushes the wine and then who gives, makes wine and gives to the pharaoh. So that is his uh, uh, job. So he is seeing a dream accordingly. He saw three branches of wine uh, trees were there and he uh, is taking all the grapes and he is crushing it and then he is pouring it in the cup and he is giving it to the king. This is what he saw. And uh, Joseph said that in uh, three days time, because three branches were seen, in three days time, uh, you will be called and you will be uh, lifted up and uh, you, I mean, the accusation that is against you will be removed and you will be resuming back to your own position and you will be doing the same job like pouring the wine in the cup and giving it to the king. So you're going to, this is what is going to happen. So this dream is a good interpretation. So when you are going back to the Pharaoh, uh, Joseph said that in your good days, please remember me. Please remember me. Please tell Pharaoh that a person like that, a Joseph, is there in the prison. Uh, so they kindly have favor on him. So he just told this alone. He did not tell anything much. Okay. So after interpreting the royal cupbearer's dream, he uh, this um, the chief baker also was there and the chief baker also says okay now come on uh, interpret my dream it is also a similar one he said he said that i was carrying three baskets of bread now he's the baker so i guess dream was related to bread and baking and everything and he says that i saw three baskets of bread on my head and uh, all were baked for the king only i did everything for the king but as i was taking them to the king i saw birds coming and pecking it and then taking everything from me so this is what the dream is for which Joseph said that same way in three days time you will be called from here and the accusation uh, with you I mean that was charged against you will remain in you and uh, the, the king is going to actually uh, make you stand in a pole and uh, you know the birds will be come, coming and picking on your flesh which means you're going to die in three days time because uh, uh, I mean that is what the punishment you're going to get after three days. So again it was a bad dream for him and uh, both of them uh, couldn't uh, really understand you know is it really going to work out. Exactly it worked out the same way after three days time it was the Pharaoh's birthday. So Pharaoh decided he's going to uh, take one person and he's going to punish the other person. So he uh, took the royal cup bearer, resumed back his position and uh, he punished the chief baker exactly as how Joseph had interpreted. Okay, now uh, chief baker had died uh, but the royal cup bearer had resumed back and he was in the, uh, with the king 
and uh, re I mean, remember we uh, Joseph had told him when you are in your good days please remember me kindly do me a favor but it is said that the cup bearer completely forgot about Joseph we are also many times like this only many people help us to come out of the difficult situations but when we are in a good position we completely forget to give them back anything in return so but again it was God's plan okay and uh, this is what is given in the chapter 40 so the story goes interesting so i hope you're all enjoying thank you and god bless